Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Melissa, for this. And ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, honorable artists and writers, performers and scholars, friends, true friends. I was looking at the list, all, all uh, very close friends of ours. Welcome to the Bethlehem Cultural Festival. Uh, I am very excited about this festival and extremely honored at being uh, given the opportunity to give opening remarks. And what a lineup there is for everyone to enjoy over the next few days. I am absolutely excited to follow some of these amazing cultural uh, uh, events. First though, much gratitude must go to Melissa Scott, the festival chair for her enormous effort in making this festival a reality in these, actually the strangest of times. When I met Melissa in my office early this year to discuss her wonderful idea of a Bethlehem cultural festival, I felt it instantly. I, I, I saw the strong passion. I encountered that passion of hers towards Bethlehem and Palestinian culture. Melissa, thank you. Thank you for your leadership and for making this idea a reality now. Uh, and thanks also to Marina Barham, Abdel Fattah Abu Sroor, Michelle uh, uh, Canatoni, as well as Ben Bach for their hard work. I'm sure I have not mentioned all those whose work has been invaluable in organizing this event, but I'll allow me to give a, a special mention to the people and city of Bethlehem and its mayor, my friend Anton Salman. I always loved to go to Bethlehem. It was a way for me to recharge whenever I felt low on energy. I, I don't know exactly why. Is it the architecture, the people, the beautiful surrounding towns of Beit Jala and Beit Sahor? They are almost like a poster card, I have to say. Uh, but I have always felt that Beit Lahim was a truly special place. I must say, most likely, it's more about its people. Uh, and uh, uh, throughout my life, uh, my studies at Birzeit University, my closest friends happen to be from Bethlehem. It is a spiritual place in the best sense of the world. And for me, it was always a sanctuary too. I wish I could visit Bethlehem now as I did exactly last year, last Christmas. But th these are tough times, very tough times. As Palestinians, uh, we suffer two lockdowns. One as a result of the coronavirus and one as a result of the Israeli occupation. Nowhere, and at no time will that be felt more acutely than in Bethlehem at Christmas. Not only it is uh, uh, beautiful and it's beautiful, spiritual and unique town uh, 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 that is Bethlehem, surrounded by an ugly and unholy wall, uh, it is also forced to suspend Christmas as usual because of a global pandemic. This has economic as well as cultural and spiritual consequences. So this Bethlehem Cultural Festival, uh, Marissa, your festival, is timely and we hope it will provide some cheer at this difficult time, even if it is to be held as the times dictate only virtually. It shines, your festival, your event, it shines a needed spotlight on Bethlehem at a time when much of the world celebrates one of the most famous events to take place in Palestine, the birthplace of Jesus and the birthplace of Christianity and the birthplace of Christmas. This festival is the first of what we hope will be a long and wonderful tradition that will continue for many, many years to come. And what a wonderful way to celebrate Palestine and celebrate Bethlehem, my friends. We have music, we have dabke, we have literature and discussions. We have wonderful movies. I can't wait to see some of them from renowned Palestinian uh, filmmakers. We even have cooking. I don't know, Melissa, how you manage to do virtual cooking, but I can't wait to follow. We have a taste of the breadth and the depth of Palestinian uh, uh, culture. Uh, uh, this is something we must celebrate and embrace. It's also an essential part of our toolkit as we slowly but surely move towards liberation and freedom. Culture, my friends, is an indispensable, indispensable 
tool in the struggle for freedom. Culture is truly a form of resistance. This is especially true for us. Assaulted, we are not just physically on our land and our people, but historically and intellectually. Everything we have, our history, our roots in this land, our traditions, our heritage, our literature and art, even our food, everything is targeted. So we fight back. We fight back in song, in dance, in literature. We pass on our traditions to next generations and they pass them on again. We survive, we live, we thrive through our culture and heritage. We do more, we assert ourselves on the global stage. Our artists go before us, our writers spread the world, our filmmakers light the way. It is remarkable, truly, truly remarkable how accomplished our artists are considering the odds. Indeed, my friends, I believe we have a panel later in the festival entitled Irrepressible Creativity. That word, irrepressible, irrepressible. That is not only true of our creative brothers and sisters, uh, the artist. I don't think any word sums up the Palestinian character better than that, irrepressible. We are irrepressible and we must celebrate this fact. We must celebrate our achievements, even in these dark days. We must celebrate our history. And of course, we must celebrate Christmas in the very place where it all began. This is a time for hope and joy, my friends. That hope and that joy will be marked on Saturday when this festival will broadcast live the lighting of the Christmas tree in Manger Square. I mean, there can be no more evocative moment in any Christmas than lighting the Christmas tree in Manger Square. Bethlehem and the birth of Jesus marks a celebration of life and humanity. It was in a humble barn here in Bethlehem that Jesus was born and it was from here that the little family fled seeking refuge elsewhere in Palestine. Prosecution, poverty and growing up a refugee is truly a Palestinian story as it is a message of redemption, equality and peace for all mankind. And this from a small town in Palestine, all of this from the town of Bethlehem. And so from Bethlehem, last year's Arab capital of culture and on the occasion of Christmas and the launch of this year's virtual cultural festival. And on behalf of the incredible lineup of Palestinian talents, let me please wish you all a very, very merry Palestinian Christmas and love and good will to all and let this exciting and joyous festival begin. <laughs>